I'll try to be very short on this subject and this is a very common email that I get all the time. Hey Tesh, I don't have experience, should I be applying for this position or that position? And my answer to this query is always, no experience is okay, but no work is not okay. Let me explain that a little more. A lot of times some people are coming up from a different work background. Probably you have been working in PHP, now you want to apply in React or Angular or any other modern tech. Surely your past experience will be count because a developer is always a developer and all past experience do get counted. But if you are coming up from an arts background or probably you have been doing news, news reporting and now you're coming up into development, that is not the same line of work, that is not the same field of work. Rest of all others, it doesn't matter if you are coming up from C-sharp background or any other background, a development is a development. Even testing experience is also counted as because you are having an experience of working in the IT industry. So if you are having that kind of experience, please don't hesitate to put it on your resume and you definitely want to put it. But what about the people who don't have any experience? Remember this, we are in an IT world. In the IT world, nobody is stopping you to click on a button and says, create new project. And you can create endless plethora of projects. Just to name a few, you can create a clone of Uber, clone of Facebook, Instagram, Tinder, Uber. There are so many of application. And you can have your experience by your own. Just go ahead and create a little bit of a complex project because somebody didn't give you an opportunity to work on something doesn't mean you can create it on your own. So go ahead and create your own experience by working on something. But I want to be very cautious about this experience thing. Let me give you two scenario, of course, both fictitious, but they will teach you a lot. In the scenario one, or in the both people, actually have worked on their own project. They have created Instagram clones, exactly same functionality, working and everything. Fictitious scenario, why not? So they have created exactly same project, they have zero experience. And when interviewer asks them, the person A says that since uh, I'm having no experience because nobody gave me a chance to work in their company, I have created this Instagram on my own. On the, second, on the other hand, the second person, person B says that since I was not having any experience, I created some of my own project and here is an Instagram clone. Now notice very carefully that how much or how, word, how you are choosing your word. Person A said that I'm having no experience because nobody gave me an opportunity. This, this selection of the word is showing that you are kind of a person who tries to point out mistake on somebody. On the other hand, the other person just came up with the solution and is not blaming to somebody. Remember one thing very carefully. This interview hunting is a process and there is always going to be some person on the other side which will be judging you. So you don't want to sound like a person who always complain about there is a problem in the world, but rather they pick up the person who is always ready to provide some solution. So try to have your mindset about not complaining too much, but rather accepting how the world is and provide a solution to the problem that you are facing in the world. So that's all I would be saying for the experience. I hope this video has given you more in depth. Remember, we are in the IT world. Nobody is stopping you to create your own projects, your own works and stuff. So make sure no experience is okay. No work is not okay in the world. So go ahead and get your own experience handled out. And make sure once you have done that, all of these experience need some kind of proof work. So put them on GitHub or private repository or anything that you can show to the interviewer while interview or while sending them these links. So make sure you have proof of your work as well. Let's catch up in the next video.